All right, Shalom Amakim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the Pasa and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches word in our true faith and sincerity. And today, I just want to get into a lesson on how. It's particular spirits on the planet Earth, the elect of the nation of Israel, that's not going to bow down to the image, man. That's not going to concede, uh, consent unto the devil, man. You know, and the things that he presents. Because we're in a time where the dragon is speaking, draconian measures are being taken. That's why the word mandate and required is being thrown around more and more. Oh, even the word fired <laughs> and laid off, unemployment. Those are more frequent words that has been put forth in the media as well. Man. But despite all that, the elect would not uh, bow down or concede. You know? So, matter of fact, let's start out this in the book of uh, Let's get this in Isaiah, the 10th chapter. Well, matter of fact, like, let's start off in the book of Micah. Because, you know, separating from Babylon is a process, you know, for is a for the ultimate, the build up is the physically coming from this place. But it first starts in the mind. Let's get this. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. See, so meaning don't have that mindset of a 10-year plan, 5-year, even a 3-year plan, whatever. Don't get settled, you know, have that mindset of being here, man. Because this is not a, this is like a, uh, this is, uh, we just passing by. This is a shadow this place, America, the so-called white man, this system as a whole. It's a shadow, man. It says, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. See? Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even what a sore destruction. See? So, you departing is departing from this place in the mind. You know, that's how you become polluted. And that's what ultimately is going to destroy you, because... Uh, having the mindset of American, you know, just take a nigga, it's a doctrine. Uh, uh, niggas have doctrines. Well, ultimately, their decision making leads to a shootout. Or uh, a uh, nigga might ate too many pork rinds when he growing up, and now his foot got to get cut off. You know? And ultimately, just, uh, just being here is going to kill you. Being engulfed in this place. So called living the American dream. So that's why we have to separate ourselves mentally, man. And it's gonna ultimately grow physical. And the only one that's doing that is the elect of the nation of Israel. This is that process, this is that process of deliverance. You know, being separated from this place. You're not acclimated. You know what I mean? With this system, man. So let's get this in the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, verse 20. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day, and we in that time, we in that day. Scripture's talking about. This is that day. Because this time period we're in, it's going to be a series of events that's going to actually lead to the perfect day, which is the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai. We in that time period, man. So it says, and then it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel see, and such as are escape of the house of Jacob see, the word remnant, uh, escape. Those are key words, my. Because those are the one who the Lord has set for himself, my. The remnant of the nation of Israel, the elect. Those are the ones that are going to escape of the house of Jacob. It says, shall no more again stay upon him that smote him. See, so we're not laying 
upon the so-called white man. The same nigga that beat our ass, man. This the same nigga that got that bill waiting on you at the end of the month. Or the the, the, the nigga that's uh uh <clears throat> cause that's a that's a form of oh it tells you on um, what's that um Isaiah the fourteenth chapter the continual stroke. It's not no relief in sight dealing with the so called white man. You only gonna get smoke, you know. But it says, it says, shall no more again stay upon him that smote him, smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. So as you can see, the time time we in now, the line is being drawn in the sand, man. The elect of the nation of Israel would no more stay upon him, that would no more lean upon the so-called white man. Trust what this man presents, believe his rhetoric. All the way down to you uh, compromising, you know, inte- your integrity is not going to work, man. You know? This nigga wants you to compromise your integrity, roll your sleeves up so you can continue to pay bills and be a nigga on the weekend. It's not going to work, man. It said, the remnant shall return, even in the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. And we know the mighty power, that's, that's talking about Yahweh Shah, man. I'll tell you that Isaiah 9, that's one of his titles, is the mighty power. You know, that we once again are going to be joined with our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Matter of fact, <laughs> let's get this in the book of uh, Revelation 14. Because we want to be joined with the Lord, you know. So he's looking for those versions. Let's get this. This is Revelation 14 and... For it said, These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. See, so that's concerning the 144. And that, and that ultimately triggered down to, you know, the rest of the one third. But hearing this word, you're not going to be defiled with women or these different philosophies. You're not going to be engulfed in Buddhism or this modern form of Christianity. Uh, anything that sway you off from, you know, this truth. It ultimately, that, that's going to even physically, you know, dealing with you actually getting pricked. You actually getting jabbed. That you, as you know, you, uh, you was uh, kept for being penetrated. <laughs> you know, like I said, by the way of that thing. And ultimately, when the thing thing comes, because there, there's a penalty for taking the thing thing. You can read that in Revelation the 14th chapter, the ninth verse. You know? But it said, These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. See? These are they which follow the Lamb whatsoever he go off. These were redeemed from among men. See? Being separate. Being the first fruits unto the Most High and to the Lamb. See? So these are the. This is the these are the steps, the necessary steps, you know, to uh, return to your house by Shemel Shai to once again be joined with the Lord, man. We got to separate ourselves. It, 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 it start with the mind, and it's going to grow. Yeah, you don't eat pork no more. Yeah, you don't eat like you're going to. Like I said, you, you at church on Sundays. Now it's time to take that next step. Are you willing to to get fired from from for not taking that thing? Uh, you know, uh, like I said your livelihood is is you know everybody lies about the tragedy change one way, form or fashion. Are you willing to go through the 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 you know the trials and tribulations that fire that's about to take place? You know, where the Lord got particular spirits on the planet Earth that's gonna actually. Uh, be preserved and make it through these things, you know. But as you see, uh, it tells you they they were not the five women. They they are virgins, you know. It said they they follow the lamb with the silver. He go off. Now with Esau go. Oh, I said we're not gonna lean upon E. We're gonna lean upon you. How about Shemal Shai? In truth, so it's by the way it is true. That's how we showing, you know. 
Ah, leading to the Lord, man. You know? Continuing in truth and living it. Because ultimately, that's what it's going to come down to. You got to actually live and live it, man. You know? But the point is, there's particular spirits on the planet that's not going to bow to the image. You know, that's not going to concede or consent to this devil, man. You know? Which that all? I think that's Kings, I believe. Let's get that real quick. I think it's First Kings, probably nineteen, eighteen, eighteen, nineteen. Yep, this is First Kings nineteen and eighteen. It says, "Yet I have left me seven thousand in Israel." See a complete number. And it says, "Yet I have left me seven thousand in Israel, all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which have not kissed him." And we saying that. Playing out in its perfection today, man. You know, it's a, it's a complete number. The Israel of the Most High that's not going to bow to bow or reverence, you know. In this lifetime, the so called white man in this system, man, and what he puts forth. We're not going to bow to this. We're not going to reverence this man, you know. For what? This nigga is the, uh, is the laws of all beasts, man. You know, what it said, it said the Lord have, he said, yeah, I have left me 7,000. So this is concerning his, his, uh, his vineyard, man, which is the elect of the nation of Israel. That's not going to bow, you know, hard headed and righteousness, man. You know, or it tells you the Lord said he's made our face strong against their faces. Matter of fact, let's, I think it's, uh, what's another one, Jeremiah. Tell you, we pretty much against everybody, man. Yup, this is on um, Jeremiah 1 and 18. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city. See, in this city is concerning Jerusalem, which is the elect of the nation of Israel. It's a people before us, a place. The city is a people before us, a place, man. You know, that's why, uh, just, just. Some is sort of, you might say, uh, Alabama, but people that's from Alabama, you call them Alabamians. You know, just some, but it's the, it's the people that makes up the city. So concerning Jerusalem, this this is a defense city, man, the people. It says, and an iron pillar and brazen wall, see, against the whole land. See, against the kings of Judah, against the prince thereof, against the priest thereof, and against the people of the land. See? It said, and they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee, for I am with thee, said the Lord, to deliver thee. See? So the Lord have, have uh, you know, built us up as a defense city, and we're against, you know, uh, this devil and what he pushed for. And it said, at the end, it said, against uh, the people of the land, everybody, man, you not with this. Oh, that's why I love y'all. I said, he did not gather with me, scatter abroad, man. You know, like I said, that line is now being drawn in the sand, man. You know, and it's, it's going to be made known who are the the uh, the true worshipers of Yahweh by Ishmael, so the true believers of the Lord when these things finally take place, man. You know, when this nigga really put the clowns down. So called white man, when he really put the, the heat, you know, that pressure, man, a lot of, a lot of people gonna fall apart because they didn't believe, you know. Uh, uh, it was some here in America that they just couldn't let go, you know. So this is gonna end up being their demise. This Joshua. Chapter 24, verse 15. And if and if it seem even unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve. See, and this is how I smile shy. You know, giving the, the ultimatum, man. Who you gonna serve? We seeing that now. Don't you see mandatory? That means or else. Do this or else. You can't come in, in here unless you got that. You know? So we seeing the ultimatum being presented in this lifetime. It says, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell, 
and Esau is actually following these different uh these different deities of old man. It's just, just the name change, man. It's the the same customs, the same different abominable acts. But Esau, this nigga put he put his twist on. He took it down. Them Amorites would have been uncomfortable around the modern day Edomites. Oh, even these the old the Sodom and Gomorrah, those the ones that inhabited those cities back then, they'll be uncomfortable in this lifetime. Because Esau took it a step further, man. You know? It says, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, see? Meaning, you know, oh, that's why, uh, with, it, with uh, Three Holy Church said, matter of fact, let's get that. And we, we want that, that Daniel the third chapter, we, we finna see that play out in its perfection, man. You know, this just one an event that were recorded for nothing, man. We finna see it play out once again in this lifetime. So this Daniel 3. In verse, um, you know, I started at 16. And this is when pretty much um, the three holy children were called up to Nebuchadnezzar. And they was presented to bow down, you know, to compromise their integrity. To bow down to, so they can live in captivity. It ain't like you, you, you was in, you know. That's why I said death is better than a better life, man. You know? So it says, um... The day in 3 and 16, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. See, if it be so, our power whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. And that's the mindset we have. Because the precept is what contributes, you know, to our faith, man. You meditate on the things, the different events that took place, you know, uh, you know, these different events that actually took place, man. And, you, you know, and we read the latter end of it. Yeah, how about small chapter? Or it tells you that in the book of Sirach, the second chapter, who has he despised that called upon him? You know, and, and, and uh, you know. So you truly worship your how about small shot and sincerity and truth the Lord going to deliver us, man. We'll continue on. It says, but if not, let's just let's say the Lord don't do it. But be it known unto thee, O king, that we would not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image when thou hast set up. See, so pretty much the Lord put the spirit on them to even, you know, even uh, to take face death, man. Oh, just like Stephen. You know, the Lord put a heavy spirit to even comfort you in the time when you were actually face to face with death. The furnace right there. They talking to Nebuchadnezzar and the furnace right there, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know? But you see that mindset. The Lord had the spirit where they would not bow. They would not serve the gods of the uh, Nebuchadnezzar, man. That image. You know? But he's, that's part of he has he has left him seven thousand that night that's not gonna bow to Baal, man. Lord put the spirit on them to not bow, not to compromise. Those are those particular spirits once again a day. And it's gonna play out in its perfection in this lifetime, man. You know? So um uh, I think that was it. Matter of fact, uh Let's end off on this in the book of Second Arrows 2. And uh it's like in Second Arrows 2. And uh the whole chapter bag. Um uh, well, I started at 45. Well, I started at 44. Second Ezra 2 and 44. It says, so I, answered, so I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they. See, that's the sign. And uh, these are they in the book of uh, Revelation, the 14th chapter. Same, the same day. He answered and said unto me, These are they. That's the separation. They have put off the mortal clothing 
and put on the immortal. And it starts with the mind first. Because uh, what we in is the doctrine of life, man. That's that's what we, that's what we really even when we talk about the destruction of America, that's actually promoting life. That's actually cutting off death, you know. So even when we talk about destruction, that actually promotes life, you know. But the the immortality starts, you know. They say with the mind first, but ultimately it's gonna grow. Into the physical man, we actually gonna be immortal. Those new bodies, it says, and have confessed the name of the Most High. See, concerning this doctrine, man, cause it ain't like we just doing videos and you, you ten minutes saying Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You saying that for ten minutes straight? No, we confess the name of the, of the Most High by these teachings. Oh, that's why I said He that glory glory in this that He understandeth and know of me. So that's that's how we are confessing the name Yahweh by Shemal Shah is by these teachings. It says, Now are they crowned and receive palms. It said, Then said I unto the angel, What young person is that that crown of them and give them palms in their hands? See, and that's concerning Yahweh Shah, man. It says, So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. See, we return into the mighty power, man. You know, that's who we ran into the arms of Esau being the shit out of and Lord put the spirit of discernment and get this truth. We ran into the arms of the Lord and it's it started by the way of the truth and it's physically gonna take place when the Lord get us, pluck us up from this place by the way of the chariots, man. You know? It says, Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly. For the name of the Lord, see? For this truth, man. And we, you're going you're gonna to see why that word stiffly is there, man. And that's the point. That's, that's the point I want to get. The word stiffly. See, we're going to see what that really means, man. You know, but at the end of the day, how about Shemal Shai have particular spirits on the planet Earth that's not going to bow to Baal, that's not going to... Worship the image, you know. That's the elect of the nation of Israel. So yeah, I can. I just hope to edify. I like to give all praise, honey, and glory to Yahweh, Baasham Yahushai, Baasham Racha Kudas. I like to give double honors to the pastor and elders of Great Millstone. I like to say Shalom to the elect of Israel in our true faith and sincerity. DTA, a Bob the Ball, soon. Very soon.